What is up, guys? This is Ray, and I am joined by Ashton and Kevin, and we are from Jackalman Games. So we have another episode of Meta Monday for you guys. Uh, Kevin here on our right is going to be piloting the Millionaire's uh, Mill deck, which is Elite Yoda, Single Die Anakin Skywalker, and a Single Die Cassian. And Ashton here on our left is going to be playing Elite Mother Talzin, and two Mandalorian Super Commandos. So we have one deck that is trying to deal some damage, and the other is trying to mill their opponent to victory. Uh, so it looks like uh, they already rolled off, uh, so we'll see who gets to pick the battlefield here. Uh, looks like Ashton won the roll-off and is going to go with his battlefield. Uh, so I apologize, this is upside down, but uh, he picks Rift Valley, uh, which is reveal a card from the top of your deck. If it is an odd-costing card, uh, remove a die that is value 2 or less. So that really works well with his deck. Uh, so let's just get right into it. All right, so Ashton is going to power action one of the commandos and put a chance cube down. So really great card to generate resources. And he's going to put that one damage into Anakin. So let's see how Kevin responds. So Kevin put the two shields on Yoda, uh, really trying to protect him. And he rolls out, and he gets two specials. So that's uh, that's exactly what Kevin wants to see. Uh, gives him a lot of options there. He can either mill and gain money. All right. So Ashton is going to roll in the commando, but decides to pull the chance cube back to his hand. And he hits a shield. All right, so Kevin, it looks like he's going to shield up Anakin with one of the actions and take a dollar. Uh, so we thank Kevin for keeping us informed with the, uh, the Yoda triggers. Uh, again, he's going to shield up Anakin and take another dollar. So very interesting. Uh, I assume that later in the game he will start to use Yoda for milling purposes. Uh, but right now he's just trying to gain money and shield up. All right, so Ashton is going to power action the commando with the chance cube that he bounced back to his hand, and he's going to now switch targets. Uh, so that's interesting, and he's going to go after Cassian. All right, and Kevin leads off with an Anakin's pod racer. Uh, you know, turn one, that's going to certainly do uh, a lot of work for him. All right, Ashton rolls in the commando and decides to keep the chance cube on him this time. Uh, and it pays off. He gets three resources, uh, a blank on the commando, uh, but he has yet to roll in Talzin. And Kevin activates that Anakin Skywalker's pod racer, and he hits a disrupt. Backup muscle from Ashton. Kevin rolls out the uh, Anakin Skywalker. So he gets the ability to focus a droid or pod racer. So that's what he's going to do now. And he switches that pod racer to two shields. So I think that's a pretty smart move considering uh, Ashton's deck is looking to, to ping damage through. All right, so Ashton takes the three resources from the chance cube. So Kevin takes the two shields, throws them onto Cassian, and decides to rip a card out of Ashton's hand. And he gets a Canto Bite. So uh, Canto Bite Pistol, a really great card, I think was one of the newer additions to, to Ashton's deck. Alright, so Ashton uh, plays the Van Brace on Mother Talzin. I think what he's what he's looking to do there is just get some some extra value from that card. And Kevin throws a bartering onto Cassian. So the board states, uh, you know, built up uh, pretty quickly in this this match. All right, so he plays the friends in low places. I think that was a good a good choice on Ashton's part. Um, he still has some dice that he'd like to deal damage with, and he takes the easy pickings. So, uh, decent play there, but unfortunately he does have two pieces of mitigation left in his hand. Right, 
Kevin rolls in, Cassian hits a resource and a discard. So that's exactly what he wants to see on that bartering. And Ashton rolls in Mother Talzin, hits a focus, one gun, and one melee. And the card was a flank, so it was an, an odd costing card. Chooses to flip one of the commandos over to two ranged. So Ashen is is showing a decent amount of damage here. And uh, Kevin quickly takes two resources and then uses Cassian's ability, which is either uh, when you resolve his die, deal one indirect to your opponent or discard the top card of his deck. And he gets uh, Ashton's flank. So three damage. Uh, he's going back over to Anakin. Uh, as soon as he gets that pod racer out, Anakin can really become a problem. So uh, I think it's a smart choice to kind of uh, get him off the board as quickly as possible. So Kevin claims a battlefield, going to see if he has an odd-costing card at the top of his deck, and it is a Force Meditation, so unfortunately he does not. Uh, Ashton still has a Focus and some damage uh, that he can present here. Uh, so he does two more to Anakin, and one melee from the Van Braces. And then tacks on a Backup Muscle, uh, one unblockable damage. So, uh, you know, as far as turns go, I think that, you know, each player did quite... Uh, quite a few things, uh, was certainly able to build up their board states. Um, so uh, I think both both players are pretty happy with that round. All right, so they're both drawing up their new hand, and we are into round two. So uh, Kevin has uh, control of the battlefield, and he still has that... Uh, bartering dice that he'll, you know, he'll move out of there. So he starts off with the friends in low places. Ashton Hand looks pretty good. Um, looks like he takes the friends in low places from him. Um, you know, in most cases, people would go after the witch magic, but, uh, you know, Kevin is not dealing damage to Ashton, so I, I'd say that's a pretty good play. Um, and he goes with the backup muscle kill on Anakin, so... I think that Ashton feels pretty good about getting Anakin off the board that quickly. He still has one damage left on that backup muscle. Kevin plays the Force Meditation onto Cassian. I think that was a, a really good play. Uh, what that enables you to do is uh, play the second chance on Cassian uh, and only have to pay one resource. So Ashton power actions and places the Sith Holocron that we saw in his hand uh, onto one of the commandos, and he's going to deal one damage to one of uh, Kevin's characters. So I think he's he's deciding who he wants to target right now. He goes after Cassian. I think that that was a, a smart play. Uh, if he does have the, the second chances in his hand, um, you know he's gonna he's gonna have to eat through them. So. All right, so Cassian, uh, sort of a bad roll there, gets two blanks uh, and a special off of the bartering. So the special, if you're not aware, is gain one resource. You may force each player to draw one card. All right, so Ashton goes and rolls in the commando that he just equipped with the holocron. Uh, one shield and a blank. So those Mandalorians love to roll shields. They do have two shield sides. So Kevin gets in with the pod racer and comes up with a blank. All right, Ashton's just uh, thinking about what he wants to do here. And he bounces the Van Braces back to his hand. So really great uh, mechanic with the commandos. Looks like Yoda's coming in here, and he hits a disrupt, uh, double disrupt. So uh, I don't think that's what Kevin really wanted to see. He might have to uh, 
Might have to re-roll there. And he's going to power action and throw down that Van Brace right on that commando and continue to target Cassian. So Kevin is looking to re-roll here. Um, his dice just did not cooperate with him during the roll-off. So he gets the two focus from Yoda, a discard, uh, one gun from Cassian, and a focus from the Force Meditation. And Ashen takes that two focus away right uh, as soon as he rolls that out, uh, because that is that is representative of a lot of cards possibly off the top of his deck. All right, and he focuses straight into his two focus. And just double checking the sides on that that pod racer. Looks like he's going to do something with that. Uh, grab the two shields. And he flips Cassie into the one discard. So the pod racer will still take a card off the top of his deck. Um, it gets an added bonus of, of taking a card out of the hand or allowing you to choose if you could spot Anakin. So Ashton looks like he's going to activate Mother Talzin. He's going to certainly roll her in. And he gets hit with the Beguile. Um, I'm not sure if we saw Mother Talzin's ability yet. Uh, let's see. So he flips it over, and it's an armor plating. So he's going to get to focus that and focus it over to the Sith Holocron special. And... It looks like he gets hit with the Beguile from Kevin. So, great card. Um, what it basically does is allows him to re-roll an opponent's dice, turn a dice to any side, and then remove one of their dice. All right. So, we got the Mandalorian Super Commando. Uh, he has him re-roll that. All right. So, Ashton takes a resource. And it looks like he blanked the other um, Talzin dice. So Kevin chooses to discard Ashton and take a card off the top of his deck. And Ashton still has not rolled in one of his commandos. So Ashen's deck really able to slow play and, and kind of uh, keep up with the with the slow pace of a mill deck. Uh, so he gets two blanks and a disrupt. Uh, not not sure that's a, that's what Ashton wanted to see. Um, does have one card in his hand, so he can he can push out a reroll. All right. So the pod racer gets resolved and takes another card off of Ashton's deck. Uh, let's see if he thinks it's worth it here. So yep. He pitches the Witch Magic, which was the last card in his hand, uh, for a reroll. Just a, a lot of potential for damage here. Uh, shield, resource, shield, shield, and a blank. Not what he wanted to see. Kevin resolves that bartering special, and uh, it says you may force each opponent to draw a card, so uh, he does not elect to allow Ashton to draw a card. Ashton's taking his, uh, his resources, and Kevin seems like he's in a good spot. He's going to claim. Hits the bartering, uh, which is an odd-costing card, and he chooses to remove, let's see, one of the Mandalorian dice. Uh, I don't think it really mattered in that case, uh, because Ashton really can't re-roll, uh, so... He is left with the two shields and a blank. So he's going to pop it back to his hand. Pretty good play on, on Ashton's part. Let's see if he, he re-rolls with that. And yep. All right, so at least he hit some damage. Two sticks and three money. So I think he got his value out of that. Um, continuing to go after Cassian. 
Ashton's really up against it. He is uh, quickly shielding up uh, Cassian, so uh, it's going to be a lot to chew through. Looks like cards in deck. Ashton still has 17. Kevin has 18, so uh, not not really that much mill, but he still has to draw you know, his five cards, um, and it's going to put him at uh, 12 cards left in deck. So we'll see how this turns out. So Kevin claimed again and puts a second force meditation down on one of his characters, this time Yoda. Kevin it has a pretty decent board state at this point as far as the, the mill goes. His characters are shielded and he has some upgrades on them. So Ashton goes with the force wave. Now that's a, that's a pretty good play there. Um, you know, he really doesn't care about putting damage onto his own characters, uh, but he'll be able to knock off those shields pretty effectively with that card. Looks like Kevin wanted to roll in his Force uh, Meditation, the actual card. Uh, so he gets uh, two shields, three shields. So we got three shields all around. Um, let me see if I make those dice a little bigger for you guys. So let's see how Kevin or how Ashton's going to respond with a double force wave. So I think uh, this is really going to put the pressure on to Kevin to to you know save mitigation um, and make sure that that he you know makes uh, an attempt to to block those force wave dice. So he gets a shield with the Anakin's pod racer. And he throws down a chance cube for the ping on Cassian, stripping him of him, his shields. And uh, Kevin again tries to roll in his uh, Force Meditation card. All right, so it gets a resource, a focus, and a resource. So not bad uh, dice here from Kevin uh, as far as, you know, uh, grabbing some money and uh, protecting himself. All right, Ashton choosing to roll in the commando, but take back the chance cube. I think what he's just trying to do right now is, uh, you know, keep some rerolls in his hand, uh, make it a little bit harder for Kevin to uh, to get all of his cards. Hits one melee and a focus, so I think that focus is really relevant. So Kevin looking to pitch and re-roll. He can really do some damage. Uh, I think that's exactly what he needed. So hits the special on the Force Meditation and a special on Yoda. These are some of his other dice. So I think that's exactly what Kevin was looking for. So double chance cube, and now he's able to actually chop into Cassian's health a little bit. Right, so we'll see what Kevin, Kevin looks like he's going to take a dollar and switch his other Yoda dice to a special. Uh, we'll see if he'll start special chaining here. Chooses to take a shield on Cassian and flip that force meditation to a special. Yep. And two cards off the top of Ashton's deck. And two more with... Uh, a double force meditation. So that that really essentially ripped an entire turn out of Ashton's uh, deck. Um, so thankfully he didn't have you know the clandestine operation that would have been brutal for uh, for Ashton. And he also resolved the bartering, uh, allowing both both players to draw a card. So I think I think the reason why. Um, he wants to, to have Ashen draw a card is not only to keep digging into his deck, but also to, to grab some mitigation because these these force waves are coming. All right, so he goes with the backup muscle, pops it for its last last damage, and he puts it onto uh, to Cassian. 
And he takes the one shield and continues to rip out uh, Ashen's deck. So let's look at the, the deck. Ashen has six cards left, and Kevin has 17. So this mill deck can certainly, you know, torture deck very quickly. Chooses to bounce back both chance cubes. So I, I kind of like that play. Um, and looks like he's going to roll in just the Mandalorian dice. Hits the one ranged, so damage is, is always good against a mill deck. Kevin choosing a pitch to reroll and hits the discard with Cassian. So uh, rolls are, are really going well for for Kevin. And Ashen's going to get in Mother Talzin and those Force Waves. So uh, not the roll he wanted. Two blanks, uh, two range on Mother Talzin and a resource. And it looks like Ashton showed a three cost um, Force Throw. So quickly switches one of those force waves to a special, and he does have the money to resolve. So another thing to note is he still does have the focus on the Sith Holocron. So chooses to take, uh, you know, the one discard from Ashton and one card off the top of his deck, and gives Ashton the opportunity to resolve the first force wave. So let's see how he uh, he chooses to dish out the damage to these characters. So three to Cassian, still pushing it on Cassian, and two to Yoda, knocking those shields off, and he throws the, the additional one over on one of his commandos. All right, and Kevin with a timely hyperspace jump. So I, I don't think there's more you can ask uh, you know, for a turn from Kevin. He was able to get a decent amount of cards from Ashen's hand, his deck, and he's also able to flip the battlefield back to Imperial Palace, uh, which is look at an opponent's hand and discard a card from it. So uh, I think that Ashton is really going to be up against it. Uh, but it's still interesting to see if those Force Waves can, uh, can di dish out enough damage. Right, so still full health Yoda, and uh, he rolls him in. Special on Yoda, special on the Force Meditation, and a shield on Yoda. So like I said, he is getting some great rolls. All right, and Ashton gets uh, a resource on one of the Force Waves, a focus, a resource, and uh, two indirect. He flips over and shows the force throw, so he's going to switch one of those force waves to a special. Elects to keep the one with two dis uh, indirect, it's just further damage. And uh, Kevin looks like he's going to just actively special chain here. And throwing those shields onto uh, Cassie, and I think it's a smart play. Now this might take the rest of uh, Ashen's deck here. Uh, still two cards left, so uh, really getting down to the wire. All right, Alex to resolve the Force Wave, throws three onto Yoda, and two onto Cassian, removing that shield, and then keeps putting that one on his commando. So that's five damage onto Cassian, three onto Yoda. Cassian comes up with a discard, blank on the bartering, a blank on the force meditation. All right, so Ashen elects to focus his second force wave to the special. Uh, let's see if Kevin will allow him to resolve this. And he hits Kevin Ashton with the uh, overconfidence. So um, this is a, a tough one. Let's see what, what Kevin chooses to pick. So it's, it's definitely going to be the Force Wave, but what other dice is he going to use? It's going to be the Force Wave and the Mother Talzin dice. So I think he has a pretty decent chance of uh, keeping that special around, and he does. Uh, gets rid of the Mother Talzin dice, but is still able to possibly re-roll for that 
uh, force wave special. All right, throws the chance cube down and pings uh, Cassian for one. Now Cassian's really getting down uh, in health here. Uh, takes one card from Ashton, which is the second copy of Chance Cube, and one from the deck. Now it will be a very devastating play if Kevin is holding a second chance in his hand. Um, it, it would really be an uphill battle for, for Ashton at that point. All right, and he's playing this, this pretty smart, uh, bouncing those uh, Chance Cubes back to his hand. Uh, but he does get two blanks. That's that's tough to see there. All right, so Kevin rolls in the pod racer and shows a discard. Uh, you know, Kevin's just getting getting the 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 rolls that he needs. So with that ability, he'll be able to discard and still take a card off the top of Ashen's deck, and I believe that will be the last card. So interestingly, he does an overconfidence, the pod racer dice, and the the force wave. So I, that's an interesting choice. Uh, does remove the force wave, so or the pod racer, rather, and uh, the force wave showing that too indirect. So uh, Kevin rerolls again resource and a focus so he'll be able to get the the top card um, with a with a focus to the the force meditation but we'll see how he plays it hits the power action and has Cassian at se uh, seven damage with three health remaining oh and tough one he gets the chance cube with a flames of the past so if you're unaware of what that card does it's discard any card from play if there's a copy of that card in any discard pile so uh, pretty pretty nice play there so just a tough match uh, for for Ashton at this point so he's gonna he's gonna resolve the two indirect and uh, Kevin chooses to put it straight on Yoda. And he does choose to focus to the two, uh, the special on force meditation. So he's got the clandestine operation and a pacify. So it's interesting. He, Yep, he's going to go with the pacify because clandestine, his deck is going to be gone. Um, so it's really not going to be that impactful after this turn. And uh, Ashton does elect to um, to claim the battlefield. So two cards left. Uh, it looks like Yoda has a total of five damage on him. And Cassian has seven. So, you know, Ashton has to do eight damage here. Uh, no deck left, so his Mother Talzin ability will not be able to focus, but does naturally roll the special on Force Wave. So I think this is a, a pretty close game. Uh, he gets hit with the Entangled, so rough one there. Still showing the focus there, so looks like he's going to slow play it and just represent damage. All right, and Kevin pacifies it. So I think Kevin's really just uh, able to mitigate enough to get through this turn. Um, he will be in good shape. So Ashton's still showing damage, shows one melee and a special. And Kevin uses his second copy of Friends in Low Places to rip out one card from Ashton's deck, which is a Witch Magic. So not looking too good for Ashen at this point. Uh, does get the one ranged on the... And Kevin, for the win, rips out the card from his hand. I don't think that Ashton could deal enough damage here. So GG, Kevin. Let's see what he's writing. I hate you. So really good uh, match. Um, Kevin seemed to be in control majority of the time. Uh, there was a, a quick moment where that force wave... Um, could have really 
you know, put put Kevin behind. Uh, but it just looks like he was showing just too much mitigation at the end. Um, Kevin, uh, letting Ashton know he does does care about him, and he did a great job. All right, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time on Meta Monday.